Hey guys, so here is our second topic for the last day of the New Coach Boot Camp. And I do want to apologize for the extreme length of these videos today. I didn't plan on talking that much, but I really, really feel like all this stuff is completely vital. And I just know how much it's helped me in my business, so I really just wanted to share it with you. And my cat's still in my lap if you're wondering what's happening over here. Um, so today's topic, our second topic, is time management and like I've always thought that I've been really good at time management but until I learned this concept on the success club trip this year I was like oh my gosh like I'm doing so many stupid little things that are wasting my time and you know sorry I'm really thirsty today probably doing that yoga in the park made me like sweat my butt off so I need to hydrate anyway like I said I thought I was like super effective, manage my time so well. But then I looked at all the different things that I was doing all day that like add up. I mean, responding to texts while you're working. Like if you're responding to like 10 texts in a day, that could take a lot of time out of your day, even if you don't realize it. Ow, my cat's like clawing my lap. So what we learned at Disney on the Success Club trip was a concept called the four quadrants. And I can't remember what the rest of it is. Hang on. Let me pull up my notes. Um, the five choices to extraordinary productivity. And there are four quadrants. It's called the time matrix. Sorry. I couldn't find what I was trying to say. So it's called the time matrix. And there's four different quadrants. And um, the thing is with this is it's going to help you focus on those things that come up in daily life, like interruptions that you don't expect. It's going to really help you stay focused and to manage your time um, very well. So what you want to try to focus on is um, focusing on the things that are... I'm sorry, I cannot get my thoughts together today. Um, so you want to focus on things that are most important. The things that are least important... The, you know, those things might be um, beneficial to you, but not during your work hours. You know, you want to make sure that you can be your most productive. So the whole idea of the time matrix is there's four quadrants. The first quadrant are the things that are urgent and important. And these are things that just kind of happen, like a crisis, emergency meetings, last minute deadlines, things that are a, necess a necessity, like your car might break down. These are things that we cannot avoid and that we usually have to deal with right away that could throw off our whole entire schedule. Um, so that's quadrant one, urgent and important. Now quadrant three is things that are urgent and not important. We may feel like we need to act right away, but they are very low value activities. And this, my friends, when I learned about this, that excuse me, that is when I realized, oh my gosh, like I got to stop having this mindset that I just have to respond right away. Like I would get a text and think that I had to respond right away. You know, I love my friends dearly and of course I want to talk to them. But if I sit there and respond to all the text messages that I get all day, I wouldn't, I would not even get to work. So, you know, you have to just stay focused and um, don't think about the needless interruptions, anything that's like an unnecessary report irrelevant meetings, unimportant emails, phone calls, and minor issues. They're all a distraction. Like I said in the last video, if you're setting aside office hours, like for me, I said that I work between 7 a.m. and 2 p.m. So I will respond to texts occasionally that I get in, like if it's from a client or a coach. Um, of course, if I have an emergency come up, I'll respond to that too. But what I'm trying to say is typically my friends will not get a response from me until later that night because I have to stay focused because if I lose my focus then I'm not going to be productive during that time that I'm working. Um, that's the third quadrant, urgent and not important. So the fourth quadrant are things that are not important or urgent. These are things that we tend to do as human beings which this was a wake-up call for me too. Um, it's a way for you to escape from quadrant one and quadrant three, the things we just talked about. So it's what the reason why we go in quadrant four is because we feel like it's a way to shut off our brain from, you know, thinking and all the things that we're going through throughout the day. So these are things like watching TV, internet surfing, 
doing things that, you know, you're just doing and you're actually like avoiding working or, you know, whatever it is that that's the vital thing that you're trying to do, you might be avoiding it. And for me, what I realized is like at night, I would sit and look on Instagram and scroll through pictures and recipes and all this stuff. And I think it was because I was trying to turn my brain off and I was avoiding sleeping. So I was looking on Instagram instead. Really weird. I don't know why I did it. But I really tried to cut that back because sleep is super important for me. Um, and even with TV, like, you know, that's something that can be a good thing. But I realized there was a time, like, in the past couple months um, where I started watching TV again. And I would watch, like, three hours a night. And then I'm like, I list, looked at myself and I'm like, why am I doing this? This is so unproductive. Yes, I need time to relax. But I don't need that much time every day, you know. I can do other things to relax besides this. So um, that is quadrant four, not important or urgent. This Another thing that could be included in this is getting stuck in the Facebook feed. I do not look at the Facebook feed until I am done working for the day. Because if you are looking through the Facebook feed, you're going to see a million different things and you're going to end up on this page and this page and that page and commenting here and liking this. So I highly encourage you, if you want to stay productive and stay on task, to stay out of the news feed. And then the very last quadrant is quadrant two, important but not urgent. These are things that won't happen unless you create action. Um, this is where you can have extraordinary productivity. These are, you know, doing things that's like being proactive, having high impact goals, creative thinking, planning, prevention, relationship building, learning and renewal. And um, this is where you have to decide if you're going to do it or not um, because you won't see an impact right away but the return is far greater than the other things. So overall the reason why I wanted to share those quadrants with you is because you really want to focus on staying in Q2 and Q3. You want to try to stay away from Q4 which was the not important or urgent you know things where you're avoiding stuff watching excessive TV and you want to try to prevent Q1, which was the urgent and important things like crises and things like that. Because if you're focusing in Q2, not being distracted, staying on task, and if you're, um, you know, doing those things to be proactive in Q2 and Q3, then you will be able to prevent those types of things. Um, so the thing is, is you want to... Um, Try to schedule things um, to help you stay on track, like I was talking about in the last video. And, you know, just look at your life and think about what you want. And don't settle for ordinary. You know, you can go for the extraordinary. If you start using this concept, it's drastically going to change your business and help you stay super focused. And, you know, it's important for us to do things so that we have a balanced life and we're not working all the time. We do have to take time to unplug and rest. So, you know, be sure that you're fueling your fire and don't get burned out. That's why this quadrant um, matrix is super duper helpful because it can help you realize, you know, how you're spending your activities during the day. Um, let's see if there's anything else that I was going to focus on. Nope, that was it. So that is the four quadrants. I really hope that it helps you figure out how you can better manage your time and if you have any specific questions about it, feel free to ask. And the guy that created this quadrant, um, the matrix, I keep calling it the wrong thing. We're just going to call it the quadrant matrix. His name is Franklin Covey. And Beachbody actually offers training. Um, like, they're doing it in different cities, like, once or twice a month, I think. So if you go in the online office, you can actually sign up to go to this time management training. And, again, if you need help finding that, feel free to let me know. Um, I know that it has really, really helped me with my business to stay on track, you know, achieve the goals that I have set out for myself and stay focused. So hope you guys have a great day. You made it to the end. I'm so proud of you. And I'll be talking to you soon. Hope to see you all in the Push to Diamond group. Bye.